What well, technology built to help us could actually be hurting some Metro Detroiters. Reports show the iPhone 12 could pose a threat to life-saving devices like pacemakers. 7 Action News reporter Simon Chowdhury shows us how the phone's built-in magnet can affect implanted defibrillators and pacemakers. Cell phones are something we keep close by. It can be a life-saving tool, especially when you call 911. But doctors at Henry Ford Health System say this could disrupt medical devices. Anybody can put an external magnet of enough strength, and if you bring it close to the device, it will turn off the defibrillator from shocking the patient. Henry Ford cardiologist Dr. Gurjeet Singh explains the potential lethal consequences for those who use an iPhone 12 and have an implanted defibrillator or pacemaker. The team of doctors say the magnet found in an iPhone can disrupt the life-saving devices, putting hundreds of thousands of patients at risk. We're told the strong magnet helps maximize charging. The cardiac devices have switches that can respond to external magnets. The magnet could shut off a defibrillator. For a pacemaker, it can cause the heartbeat to be out of sync. Dr. Singh's curiosity of the phone magnets led to these findings. We were quite surprised. As I mentioned, you know, our hypothesis was that maybe the magnet is not strong enough uh, to, to do any interaction, but we were surprised and amazed. More than 300,000 patients receive implanted defibrillators or pacemakers every year. Doctors recommend keeping iPhones, magnetic phone cases, or any device with magnets at least six inches from their chest. And Apple put out a warning saying its iPhone and MagSafe accessories could interfere with medical devices. And if you feel like you're at risk, stop using the tech device and consult your physician. Now the FDA is conducting their own tests to research the risk. If our paper or our findings changes the, the industry on, on either side, on the Apple side or the device companies, only time will tell. And the team with Henry Ford Health System will continue their research. I'm Simon Chowdhury for 7 Action News. Simon, thank you.